it's just some time that we can spend with you all. I know it's been a rough um, several months here for everybody, but hopefully as we look into God's word, we're going to give some hope and some joy uh, along the way. So hopefully you'll join us today and have a wonderful time. So let's talk about Jesus. Son, whosoever believe in him should not perish, 
but have everlasting life. Uh, so, first thing you need to realize is that God loves us. Uh -huh. And God wants every one of us to be saved and come to know Him as Savior. Uh, the Bible says that, that, uh, that he, God loves us and that we're all sinners. For all of sin and come short of the glory of God. The Bible also says that uh, not the works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy, He hath saved us. Uh, so the Bible says there's no way that we can work and or earn a way to heaven. But it's through Jesus that we did on the cross. The death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. And uh, then, you know, He wants us to do something else. Once a person comes into his Savior uh, through a prayer like, Dear Lord, I know, I know, thank you that you love me. I know that I'm, I'm a sinner. I've done the wrong thing. And you come into a heart and save me. You do that and seal me in your heart. God will save you. And he'll write your name in the Lamb Book of Life. And one day you'll walk the streets of gold in heaven. But you know, there's something else that we often, we don't probably ever talk about, but it needs to be brought out more and more to Christians every day. I know I'm slacking doing, doing it. Uh, uh, because, you know, we, we're living in a time now where there's a lot of fear, a lot of people's paranoid about different things, and, and they just, they, they're scared to do anything anymore. Uh, even before this, people were scared to do it. It's called witnessing one to another. It's called, once you be saved, you're saved, and you, and you know Jesus Christ, your Savior, you should pass it on. It's like a, a, a like like a race. Like I, when I, when I ran track in high school, and I was on a relay team. You run around certain certain distance, and you pass the baton off to the next person. Pray that person takes off and passes the baton off to the next person, and so on to the race is over until someone comes across the finish line. So that's the way a Christian life Christian life is supposed to be. We become Christians, then we keep passing the baton, passing the gospel over and to the next person. Just keep it going. Keep it going. I have it right here. A little illustration. And a uh, little kid here. Yeah. He was saved. See the little Bible? He's, see the little Bible he's holding here? <laughs> Not a cross. I'm sorry. A cross. That shows he's a Christian. Well, he got the idea that, that it's a good thing. He heard the preacher preach one day that, hey, you're saved now. You need to go tell everybody about Jesus. Well, he goes and tells Tom. He goes and, goes and tells Lucy, Albert, Francesca, uh, whoever. He just keeps telling people over and over. He tells people that they, they, the, the boy or the girl tells people at school about Jesus. They're so excited. They want everybody to know about Jesus. They, they tell their friends. They tell their loved ones about Jesus. And, uh, is going to do it right. You know, that's, a, that's the way it is. I go to work. I should be sharing the gospel with people. I don't mean stop your work to do it, but you can just, just every now and then you get a chance to share with what God's done in your life. Boys and girls who go to school do the same thing. Uh, just yes, they ask you and you want to know what church you go to or how your life's changed, and you know you smile a lot. Well, he's going, and he's witnessing to people. He just keeps going on, day by day, witnessing to people, witnessing to kids, school, witnessing to family members, witnessing to every just anybody come in contact with. He tells them the love of Jesus and how they can be saved. Well, so it's kind of. It's, it's a domino effect. You tell one, and these people right here got saved. But guess what? You come to the end of the line, and another person comes over here, a little girl this time, and she gets excited for Jesus. And she goes out, she tells people how much Jesus loves, loves them, and how much Jesus has done for her and her life, or, and how, what He can do for you. If you, you know, you have a bad home life or you've had a, something wrong happening in your life that you really need some help with, Jesus can do that. But she gets excited for Jesus just like he did. He witnessed the people. But it don't stop with just us. 
we should tell people over and over again, well, she gets excited too. And then she takes off and starts witnessing. And so that's the way you do it. Yeah.